So first of all, this is the second video in which I have used data downloaded off of the NOAA website. And in this video, I've gone to this web address. And here is listed all of the locations where NOAA measure carbon dioxide concentrations. And I'm going to download data from three different sites. So first of all, I'm going to download data from Barrow in Alaska. So I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to press Control A to select everything and then Control C to copy it. And I'm going to open up an Excel spreadsheet and then Control V to paste it. And I'm going to go back to the website and I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to scroll down to look for the next location. And it's all in alphabetical order. And I'm looking for Samoa, which is here. I'm going to click on it and do the same thing I did last time. Control A, Control C. And I'm going to open up a new sheet and Control V to paste. And I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to go back. And this time I want South Pole data. And I'm going to go Control A, Control C. And then open up a new sheet and control V to paste. Now I'm going to delete all of the comments. And I'm going to delete them off here as well. And then I'm going to delete the comments finally from this sheet. Then I'm going to highlight this and go data, text to columns, delimit, next, space, next, and finish. Then I'm going to delete these two cells and move it along. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. Text to columns, delimited, next, next, and finish. And then I'm going to line up the headings. Then I'm going to do that one last time. Text to columns, delimited, next, next, and finish. Then I'm going to move the headings along. And now I also have the data from Mauna Loa here, which I downloaded in the previous video. And I'm just going to select all of this and Control C to copy and then paste it into this same sheet as the Barrow data. Then I'm going to get the Samoa data and I'm going to copy this as well. And then finally the South Pole data. So I can have everything in one sheet. Then I'm going to delete the other three sheets because I don't need them anymore. And now I need to add the year and the month together, just like I did last time. So I am going to insert some gaps in here. And then I'm just going to copy the formula that I used last time. And I'm going to do that here as well. And then here as well. I'm just going to double click on these so I can see what the date is. And then I'm going to start off by selecting the date and the values and uh, control, control shift and down arrow to select everything. And then I'm going to press Alt F1 in order to make a chart, then I'm going to cut this and go back up to the top and paste it at the top. Now I'm going to select the Mauna Loa data and then I'm going to select the chart and Control V to paste. Then I'm going to do the Samoa data, Control C to copy, and then select the chart and control V to paste. And the data is just being pasted as a new series into the chart. I'm going to do that one last time for the South Pole data. 
just selecting the chart and then control V for paste. Now I'm just going to format this chart really quickly. Okay, and now I'm going to add in the series names. So I'm going to select this and edit. And then this is Arrow. And then this is Mauna Loa. And then this is Samoa. And then this is the South Pole. Okay. And at the moment, they're all plotted on top of each other. So I'm going to shift them up a bit. So here I'm going to type in equals and then select this and then plus 20. And then double click to fill in the rest of the table. Then this is Mauna Loa, which is the orange line. So I'm going to select the orange line. Now I'm just going to click and drag this. Then I'm going to do that again here. Only this time I'm going to add 30 and double click in the rest of the table and then this is Samoa which is the grey line so I'm going to click that and then click and drag that along and then I'm going to do that one more time at the end here with the south pole and this time I'm going to add 40 then I'm going to select the yellow line and click and drag it across and then I'm now going to delete the axes labels because they don't make sense anymore. And now I have a interesting plot with some interesting features. So first of all, you can see that the site started being measured at different times. So Mauna Loa was first and then Barrow and then Samoa and then the South Pole. And you can also see that all of the sites have an increasing trend in carbon dioxide concentrations, which we all know about. And then you can also see that Barrow has a larger seasonal cycle. Its amplitude is larger than any of the other sites. And this is because it's further north. And therefore, the changes in temperature and sunlight between the winter and the summer are larger. And that means that there are greater changes in the rates of uh, photosynthesis and respiration. And this leads to a larger variation in carbon dioxide concentrations during the year. Then we also have um, Mauna Loa, which is still in the northern hemisphere, but is much further south than Barrow in Alaska. And this leads it to having smaller variations between the winter and the summer. And so there is a smaller amplitude in its seasonal cycle. Then there are the two southern hemisphere sites, Samoa and the South Pole. And these have much smaller seasonal cycles than the northern hemisphere sites. And that's because there's much less land in the southern hemisphere. And also carbon dioxide takes about a year to equilibrate with the oceans. And this leads to a smaller seasonal cycle. Then we also have Samoa, which is right on the equator. And because of changes in wind direction and atmospheric circulation, it sometimes gets wind from the northern hemisphere and sometimes from the southern hemisphere. And therefore, it's affected by both the seasonal cycles. And so it gets this unusual, uh, like jagged variation all the way through not like the normal seasonal cycles that you see in the other sites. Okay, and that is it.